So, the crisis we face today, and I stress it is a crisis, couldn't have been more clearly highlighted than by CSIRO this morning, putting out their definitive report on observed changes in the long-term trends in Australia's climate. I'll read you the future climate scenarios for Australia. Australian temperatures are projected to continue to increase, with more hot days and fewer cool days. Interestingly, their conclusion was also the same as the bomb when Senator Ruskin asked the question during estimates. Seven of the ten warmest years on record in Australia have occurred since 1998. When we compare the past 15 years to the period 1951 to 1980, we find that the frequency of very warm months has increased fivefold, and frequency of very cool months has decreased by a third. A further increase in the number of extreme fire weather days is expected in southern and eastern Australia, with a longer fire season in these regions. Average rainfall in southern Australia is projected to decrease, with a likely increase in droughts, frequency and severity. The frequency and intensity of extreme daily rainfall is projected to increase. Tropical cyclones are projected to decrease in number but increase in intensity. Projected sea level rise will increase the frequency of extreme sea level events. When I read that, that's talking about the future, my future and the future of my kids. And when I read that, that spells costs. Costs of living in this country under climate change. Not the cost of my bloody electricity bills this month or next month. The cost of living with... This is the CSIRO here talking about the potential catastrophe under a future of climate change if we don't take action. We've just given billions of dollars to farmers for drought, and no doubt they need it. How many more billions of dollars will come? How many more billions of dollars are we going to have to spend on mitigation strategies for bushfire risk, for rising sea levels? Interesting, I've never heard the costs of climate change mentioned from the other side of the chamber in this debate. But there it is. That's what we have to do something about, folks. Clear as daylight.